Shakespeare, we start a new play today! Play number three, Antony and Cleopatra. I'm very excited, very excited to dig into this one. Because, um, again, it's one that I am not super crazy familiar with. I kind of sort of know, and I know that Cleopatra is the kind of character that every female actor should want to play, but probably should only be played by Middle Eastern women, even though they very seldom get the opportunity to actually do that. But, and it, she was, I mean, she was Egyptian. Why not cast an Egyptian woman as Cleopatra? Anyway, all of that aside, you don't need a lot of background for this first bit because this is the monologue that starts the play. This is a character named Philo, P-H-I-L-O, and um, Philo opens it out by casting some serious shade against Antony because Antony has fallen in love with Cleopatra. So we begin the show, <laughs> we begin the show thusly. Nay, but this dotage of the generals o'erflows the measure. Those, his goodly eyes that o'er the files and muster of war have glowed like plated Mars. Now bend, now turn the office and devotion of their view upon a tawny front. His captain's heart, which in the scuffles of great fights hath burst the buckles on his breast, reneges all temper, and has become the bellows and the fan to cool a gypsy's lust. Look where they come. Take but good note, and you shall see in him the triple pillar of the world, transformed into a strumpet's fool. Behold and see. So this is where we start some massive shade, and people don't like the choices that Antony is making with his life. Sounds like it's gonna be a good play, huh? Probably a comedy. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'll see you later.